everyone, it's Amanda from Crystal Coast Originals. How are ya? Today I'm gonna be doing a tree ring pour because I've really become obsessed with those lately. I finally think I figured out how to do them correctly, so yeah, they're my new favorite thing. But before we get started, I wanted to show you guys some things that I have on my Redbubble page and my Etsy page. So I purchased this for myself. Um, it is a flower, a flower, it's not a flower. Oh my God. Hi, it's already been a day today. It's a feather that I did a long time ago and the feather painting itself has sold, but I made prints of it. And if you guys aren't familiar with Red, Red Bubble, they take artwork and put it on different mediums, phone cases, shower curtains, bed sheets, tote bags, coasters, notebooks. I mean, they have like a whole list of things. And I just bought this for myself to go on my iPhone and I love it. It's actually a soft case, but they do have hard ones. So if you're interested, go take a look. I have other artwork up there as well that you could purchase. Um, and I'm gonna be adding more and more as the time goes on. So just Keep a lookout for that. I will put the link in the description box so you guys can click on it and check out what I have at Redbubble. And I also have some paintings up on my Etsy page. I just put this one up that I just finished. Oh, I love this one. The um, black and white swipe. So that one is up there now. So go check it out. And here is the last one that I did, the um, Bloom and Spin. It is now dry. It will be up on my Etsy page soon as well. So be on the lookout for that. I love the way this turned out. Like just the, the, um, the lacing, you can see it looks so cool. But yeah, that will be up there soon. It's not quite 100% dry yet, so I'm not going to put it up there until it's 100% dry because I don't want to ship it and somebody get it and it still be a little wet and it be completely ruined. So, all right, now on to what we're doing. This is a canvas that I just gessoed. It was one that I had done previously, didn't like it. So I painted over it and we're going to do a tree ring over top of it. I wanted to do something that I don't normally do <laughs> because obviously I like the blues, but um, I wanted to do something really bright and really happy and pretty because I figure that's what we all need in times like these. So the colors that I'm using are, I'm using Liquitex Magenta, Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. I'm also using Liquitex Payne's Gray, and this is Scarlet by Master's Touch, which I am like all out of now, sadly. I don't use a lot of reds, but when I do, it's this one. This is like a really pretty kind of Revlon red, like that fire engine red. A lot of the other ones kind of come off not red. It's more of like a dark pink, I guess, or something like that, but they're not this like red, red, intense red color that I like. So this is, this is really good color, the scarlet color. All right, so I've already mixed um, my cups, except for one. I was gonna do one on camera with you guys. And what I'm doing is I'm actually doing really thick layers this time. The ones I had done previously, the layers were a little bit thinner. So this time I'm doing kind of thick layers and I'm just doing four layers in each cup. I kind of want to see what, what transpires from that. I kind of, I want it to be a little bit thicker, like have a little bit thicker layers. You can kind of see the colors defined a little bit better. I put a lot of yellow in the other cups, so I kind of am running out of yellow, but do as much as we can. The same with the red. I was really happy. I went really happy with the red and the yellow and the other cups for some reason. So this cup's going to have a lot of magenta in it. All right. There's my 
magenta color. We'll just keep pouring this in there because it's about all we have left. Yeah, I filled up four cups. Well, not completely filled them up, but I kind of wanted to do four tree rings in different areas on the canvas and then tilt. So some of it, the white center might come off. Some of it, they'll stay. You know, just wanted to mess around today and see what, see what transpired. All right, just a little bit of Payne's Gray. I don't want the Payne's Gray to just overwhelm everything. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna put one here, 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 and here. And I might do the traveling tree pour where you're kind of like pouring it as you're traveling. So I think I might do that on a couple. That's my plan anyway. So I don't have anything laid down. I was trying to decide if I wanted to lay a little bit of white down. I might do that. Might be a good idea. I have a little bit of white left, so maybe just kind of lay it down so it'll be able to move a little bit easier especially on these corners. We'll get these corners done in particular. Oh my God, I'm gonna put my fingers in it. I'm just gonna put my fingers in it. <laughs> See how much better that works when you just stick your fingers in it. Hi. I think I'm just still a child at heart. All right. I'm gonna kind of get the edges to to help it so when it tilts off it'll go off easier. All right, there we go hands off. And I'm going to do one little teeny tiny pour over here on this corner. And my uh, pouring, well what I'm pouring, it is one part paint and, oh there's my dog. It is one part paint to three parts flow trawl because I want it to be a little bit thicker than what I would normally do. Normally I would do um, one part paint, three parts flow trawl, one part water, but I want this to be a little bit thicker. Oh good, my boyfriend has him. And catching it, there we go. Oh, how pretty. Look how pretty it is. Oh my God. That's pretty. I like that. Maybe just leave it like that. <laughs> it looks good like that. Like it is. All right. So now I'm going to do another one over in this area. And I was thinking I might try to do the moving sort of tree ring pour. Kind of let it stay right here for a little bit and then kind of start to move slowly. Wow, that's a lot of red. I poured a lot of red in that one. like a sea cucumber. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen those. You know what it looks like? It looks like a guitar and a ball is what it looks like when I look at it in the monitor. All right, so now we're going to do another 
pour, trimming pour. I think I'm going to do that one right over here. I think I'm going to have like a whole cup left. Yikes. I totally misjudged that when it came to how much paint I needed. All right, I'm going to start right here. Getting tired. All right. And then I have this one last one that I'm going to do think around here. I think I might move this one too. This might be a traveling one as well. interesting looking that's kind of cool so I definitely am gonna need to get something right here so I'm gonna tilt I think this way first this corner over here. So I'm really the bump of paint. Nah. Thick old chunk of paint. We can't have that. So I'm trying to okay. All right. I'm gonna bring it back to the middle a little bit. Now, I'm going to get this guy over here. I think I'm going to put just a little bit of white on that because I don't want to lose any of that. So, where is my white? 
a little bit of white. And that should drag the rest of the paint down with it. A little bit right here. Get on my edges. There we go. Oh my gosh, y'all, look how cool this is. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It is so cool. Especially for me to like never really use these colors very much. I think this is so gorgeous. Wow. I'm in love. <laughs> I can't stop staring at it. It looks so pretty. Wow. That is really interesting, the moving tree rings. I think that's something that you could experiment a lot with. That I plan on experimenting a lot with and seeing a good composition with that. But yeah, how cool is that? This looks like some type of psychedelic lava. I love it. Yeah, and I was worried about the gray with the yellow because sometimes that can turn. Ugh. But it seems as long as you kind of keep them separated, which I tried to in the um, in the cups, it turns out pretty good. Awesome, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't or if you haven't done so already. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know how you like the colors. What do you think of the composition? What does it remind you of? <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy I chose these bright colors today. They look awesome. Very, very happy with it. I do like the the fact that I layered them a little bit thicker because it kind of gives you a chance to see to see the colors better. They're not just kind of coming together that, like they would in a thinly layered cup. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and take care of yourself out there. Everybody stay safe, take care of each other, and I will see you on the next one.